We want to terminate health care for under Obamacare because it's bad, and we're replacing it with a great health care. Now, I will tell you, as a 20-year veteran emergency doctor, the Affordable Care Act, particularly with Medicaid expansion, has been a lifesaver for my patients. My patients with diabetes can buy insulin when they couldn't before. My patients having chest pain can come in in the first hour instead of a week later. This is because of the Affordable Care Act, because of Obamacare. Today is the deadline for the White House if it wants to modify its argument before the Supreme Court about invalidating Obamacare to do it. Will you continue with the plan to completely invalidate the ACA or so what would you want to do is, 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 is we want to we're staying we're not doing anything. In other words, we're staying with the group, with Texas and the group. Uh, but just so you understand, Obamacare is a disaster, but we've run it very well. And we've made it barely acceptable. It was a disaster under President Obama, and it's very bad health care. Now in the midst of the worst public health crisis in a century, He's talking about cutting health care. His legacy is and forever will be the attempt to take health care away from as many people as possible. I don't understand it. I don't know where the motivation comes from, but this is why I'm in this fight. This is why doctors across this country are standing up and defending our patients, defending what we do for a living, defending the oath that we took to do no harm to protect our patients. Are you disappointed that the president uh, decided to go ahead with the Obamacare lawsuit? There was a, a window where he could have pulled, the Justice Department could have pulled, pulled out of it. They didn't. He wanted to continue forward. If you undo Obamacare, what's the plan to replace it? Well, <clears throat> the answer to your question is yes. I thought the Justice Department argument was really flimsy. I mean, what they're arguing is that when we voted to get rid of the individual mandate, we voted to get rid of Obamacare. I don't know one single senator that thought that. So just let it be known, Donald Trump today again said he wants to terminate health care. Let that sink in.